From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel, for she is immortal. Hello, and welcome back to another episode. So, this episode. What are we doing this episode? I just talked about it at the end of the last episode, and I've already kind of forgotten. But I think our goal was to liberate here, and then hop straight into the HQ mission, and then do whatever I can over on this side. If I'm not mistaken, we did our first liberation mission over here last episode. So I think, for the time being, we just keep scanning. And hopefully get... Not a liberation mission. That doesn't help us. I'm hoping to get something along the lines of... Not that. Um... Actually, I wish some of these would show us, like, maybe we should start taking more missions just so we can try to find an avatar. So what I'm worried about is if we try to take only liberation missions and stuff, what if an avatar just never shows up? I don't know. Well, we have the security tower with Menace, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and knock this out. Move to infiltrate the network tower. All right. So, where is our sneaky fella? There you are. We probably could have moved a little closer, but I say I want to be a little careful, and actually, I think we would have been exactly on the edge here. So, either way, I think it works out, but it's probably a good thing that I didn't do that anyway. Um,. Do we want to just, like, hop straight into close range mode and just nuke this entire group? I think the answer is yes. Wait, hold on. Did I get away with a long range? I could. But I am going to go close range. Alright, let's, uh... Let's move up to here. And then just remove this chunk of map. This, uh, the guy in the front will probably be alive. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I was kind of hoping you'd stop living. Um, however, you are still concealed? Interesting. I'll take it. Um, alright, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll just scoot up a little bit. And we should have... Zero problems atomizing this man. Exactly like that. Goodbye. Have fun. All right, let's uh, let's scoot you up again. So, fun little story. I've uh, I finally started working on. I don't want to say started working. On, I finally picked up my video again and started uh, working on it after however long it's been um and i i i sat there and edited footage for like four hours maybe more and i successfully added a grand total of a minute and 30 seconds to the length of the video so i think that'll that goes to show you kind of how heavily edited that footage is it's uh it's it's a lot of work and it's so far it's like not even 10 minutes long it's like just barely under 10 minutes if i'm not mistaken but we are getting there and i'm basically ready for the end i just i just kind of need to figure out how i want the video to end but once i do finish it i think i'll finally get around to making that second channel i was talking about because um I don't really have content to put on it yet, so I haven't really made it a priority. Also, we could probably just laser most of these guys. Like so. Once again, you survive. Oh, don't go inside. Okay, no. Come back. Um, can we still see him? Not really. Okay, what if we have you zoom forward over here? 
And then you can probably see him now. Yes. Fantastic. Let's hit that reload. But yeah, I am excited for that video. I have put way too much time and effort into editing it. But yeah, like I said, it's getting pretty close to being done. And like I said, once I'm done with that, I'm torn. Because there's like a second video I've been working on. And I don't know if I want to edit that one first. I don't think it'll be as much effort to edit, but it's still going to be a lot of editing. It's because, kind of like I've touched on in previous episodes, um, I have like heavily edited, or I have like this content that I'm making now, which already takes kind of a while to edit. Um, each episode takes about. Ooh, we... Ooh we got a hit. Uh, but yeah, each episode takes me usually, like, anywhere from an hour to three hours to edit. Uh, it depends on how much footage. If it's, like, a really long episode, it's probably going to be longer. And if I'm going to spend a lot of time actually doing the editing, it's going to take longer. But if I do... I don't want to say the minimum, because, like, that makes it sound like I'm not putting a lot of effort into it. But if I do enough to make it so I can like publish the video without feeling like it's a bad video it will probably take me about an hour but if I add like a bunch of little like edits and jokes and stuff that'll probably take me closer to uh, like three hours also I don't remember where that other pod was I think wait hold on it said Cooling down, you're a liar. Okay, well in that case, let's just uh, move on over here, and we're just gonna shoot someone normally. Unfortunately, oh, we did just use the shredder gun. Um, yeah, it's probably more valuable to just gun this man down. Do you have any other kind of ability that would allow you to shoot multiple targets? I feel like you had some kind of spray. Zone suppression, not quite what I need. Spray, but that's with the pistol. We could smart core, but I think that's a bad overkill. Alright, let's just shoot him. But yeah, I actually... Um, I have an idea for like a couple videos now for that like other channel the problem is like finding the time to record it i mean it's not not that i don't have the time i in fact i probably am thinking about doing it today but ooh, part of me wants to stream it and the only downside is streaming Oh, perfect. Awesome. Um, the only problem with doing that is, like, streaming takes energy. And since I record, like, three episodes, or four episodes a week, um, there's not a lot of time for me to finish recording and then be like, you know, I feel like... I feel like... Where are you going? I feel like, um, recording now. Or streaming. So it's one of those things where it's just like, it, it can be a little energy draining. But I have been thinking about two separate series for a little while now. And I, or, yeah, I, I'll call it a series, but I, I, oh wait, do we get the kill? Oh wow, I actually did not expect that. That makes our lives significantly easier. Um, let's, uh, let's turn stalker mode on. And for the time being, you can just kind of chill there. Yeah, there's, there's two things I've been wanting to stream. And, uh... Neither of them are XCOM related, just, just as a side note. Um... One... Mm, I don't know. 
it's, it's a, it could be a surprise. I don't think I want to say yet. But, yeah, I, I do want to get back into streaming. Like I said, though, the problem is just, like, having the energy. Man, I don't know how some of these streamers do it. Like, they stream every single day. Like, they probably just get into the, like, rhythm. But, like, I don't know. It just seems like a lot of work. Granted, I mean, to some extent, it feels like just... Oh, we're, that's still on cooldown. That sucks. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like to some extent, it's basically the same thing as just recording, but now you're in front of a live audience. So I feel like you would just get used to it. Wait, was that a kill? Oh, we left him at one health. So I guess if I was doing one or the other, it would be easier. Um, like if I was only streaming or only recording, it'd probably be a bit easier. Um, also, I don't want to just fire off the shredder gun here and uh, clean out their cover. Except it didn't clean out their cover. <laughs> well, it did kill basically everything. Ooh, you're not going to get a kill here. If we crit, though, we could. Come on, big crit. Oh, yep, yeah, I would say that was a crit. Bro actually just disintegrated. Alright, let's have you zoom way back here and just wall up this man. General Kenobi. Hello there. Alright, now... Ooh, that's not quite enough to get the kill here. Oh, wait. We have a free adaptive strike. I forgot. <laughs> Bro's just chilling and just gets punched twice by a robot. Can we go again? Yeah, we can. Oh, my God. That does 14. I should have led with that. Good Lord. All right. I think I'll just go with the shotgun. I'm afraid of the cooldown. All right, and then we'll just start bringing you back this way. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, is, it, it seems like a lot of work, but I think it'll be fun. It's something I've been thinking about for a little while now, and um, it, would, it would give me some time to make other content that isn't XCOM related. Because I do like XCOM, but being able to just stream whatever I feel like, I feel like uh, might be kind of exciting. Um, also, can we just get away with using a pistol here? No. Of course not. <laughs> of course we graze. You will kind of strike for enough damage, right? Okay, yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. I, um... I am going to make non-XCOM related videos, and I already have done non-XCOM related videos, but um, more so what I mean by that is like, you know, if I, if I start a series on YouTube, I feel like I kind of want to continue that series, like this long war playthrough, I, I kind of want to like finish it, I don't want to just like stop, um, but if I'm streaming something, I don't know, I feel like I would be less obligated i don't know if that makes any sense at all but i feel like i'd be slightly less obligated to f like fulfill or finish it especially since i could like stream games that i probably wouldn't make videos on like say i don't know um dead by daylight for example i don't, I don't know if i would ever actually be a dead by daylight streamer but um it's not something i personally would want to make videos about because i don't think i know how i would go about doing that exact thing so let's uh let's bring you up with the rest of the team but, like, I don't think I have enough knowledge of the game. Like, um... The... Not like, uh, Otsvarda, who makes a ton of content. Um... But he knows the, he knows a lot about the game, so he can, he can do stuff like that. So, if I made a video about the game, it would just be me getting clapped by the enemy. Whether it be killer or survivor. And not being able to uh, really, really add interesting commentary to that, I feel like. But if I'm streaming, it's it's, it's a little more chill. I can just kind of like 
I don't know, hop on, play some rounds, stream a little bit, and that'd be that. No video required. Also, I just realized your feet look weird. Look at them. Um, it's got like... Like little... He's got like little snowshoes on. Uh... But yeah, I actually... I've been thinking about what I want to do for a video after this series wraps up. And I don't know quite what I want to do yet. I have a few ideas. Uh, I've mentioned Phoenix Point before. And oh, so we're going to kind of like shuffle off to the side here because I'd rather not aggro whoever's inside just yet. Yeah, I've mentioned Phoenix Point and I actually really want to play Phoenix Point. Uh, I, I have considered playing it offline and like not making a video about it and then like coming back later and making a video. But the thing I'm worried about is if I do that, I'm going to play the game and then not want to go for a second playthrough. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That one, I would very much like to play. Uh, Darkest Dungeon, I really want to make content for. Also, can we just do a little bit of shenanigans here? I saw the enemies through a wall there for a second. Can we just, like, do a little something something like this? Yes. Yes, you can. You guys are really good at survival. That's that's where you're choosing to take cover. That, that's that is your plan. All right, hold on. Let's um. You know, you you you've been scouting this whole time. You haven't had a chance to do anything. Can you? Oh, you don't have a punch option, do you? All right, uh, just walk over here and you can't see him now, can you? Bruh. Okay. Um. Touche. Alright, you just shoot him then. Yeah, so Darkest Dungeon, I've been thinking about making content for. Uh, I really, 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 really like that game. Um. I've been thinking about, like I said, Phoenix Point. Uh, I kind of want to play Radis Lord of the Dead. I don't. It, it's a very short game, so I feel like that would be a little nice series to make content on because I could do like five episodes and call it good. Also, very, very short mission. The mechs kind of just like obliterated everything here, so uh, that went really well. Which means we can immediately hop into the HQ mission. Well, not immediately. We have to infiltrate, but... Um, so one thing I was thinking about. If I do end up making content for Phoenix Point, which, like I said, I would like to at some point, um, I think I might change how I do the editing. Because with Phoenix Point, it's also a very very long game um also yeah you, here we'll just send whoever is first um and you guys have yeah you have the little spiky brain thingy so yeah you guys should be able to deal with this pretty easily and we'll see what kind of threats we're facing here in just a moment but yeah phoenix point is a very long game as well at least last time i played it was a very long game so i think what i would probably end up doing is Editing out, oh god, editing out videos or missions that are redundant or repetitive. Like, uh, I know one, I've talked about it before, it's the okay, missions the that you basically just go in and get supplies. Unless anything interesting happens, I might just kind of gloss over that and just like skip that mission altogether. Uh, or, like, I'll do the mission, I just wouldn't put it in the video. Or I would give, like, the highlights of what happened. Because, um... You do that mission type all the time, it felt like. Alright, perfect. Liberation. 
Setting well, for sector 12. yeah, it felt like you, it felt like I was doing that mission all the time and it got very repetitive and I kind of was getting bored playing it so I can only imagine how that would feel watching someone basically do the exact same mission over and over again. Um, now, ignoring the fact that we've been doing HQ missions for like three episodes in a row, um, yeah, for doing that for a whole series seems like it would be a little frustrating. Uh, do you guys... I need to make you a little brain stabber. I don't know. I think Darkest Dungeon, I'd be fine on that front. I'm wondering, now that I think about it, I think Darkest Dungeon would also be pretty easy to edit, too, because for the most part, in XCOM, like, when you're managing bases and stuff, you... There's, like, downtime. Like, scanning, for example. There's not a lot to say when I'm scanning, but in Darkest Dungeon, I basically stop by, manage a couple things, head out on the next journey, and we're good to go. So it's like there's always something going on. So I feel like... I feel like there actually wouldn't be that tremendous amount to edit in Darkest Dungeon. So, who... I like... Your zap and your med kit are very important tools here. So ideally, you would be the one who carries the brain stabber. We could give it to someone who's more mobile. Or we're gonna, go, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go balls to the wall here and uh, forego our armor because screw it, why not? He can heal himself if he gets shot. Now, I do already have ideas for my next, like, XCOM video I would like to do. I have actually, like, what, four different ideas I have? Actually, no, five. Five different ideas for XCOM series. Three being very short. Two of them... I don't know. I probably wouldn't do Long War again for a while. So probably all five of them would be about 20 episodes long, like the last non-Long War series. Um... But I think it was 20 episodes long. I don't remember. That was almost 100 episodes ago. I don't, I don't remember how long it was. But yeah, I already have like five ideas for um, series that I think personally would be interesting. Um, they would change up enough about the gameplay that I feel like it warrants a playthrough. However, three of them would be pretty close to vanilla though. I will say that. It's a little bit of a spoiler, I guess. But... Um, The, the thing is, after I finish this series, I kind of want to take a small break from XCOM because I did the first series, and I don't remember if I took a break between that one, like the first Singularity series, and then this one. I... Yeah, I don't remember. I feel like maybe I did. Maybe I played something else. I don't recall, but... Um, yeah, if I didn't, this is like almost 120 episodes straight of XCOM, which is like what? 120 divided by three would be like uh, 40. That's like that's like 40 weeks of XCOM three times a week. Uh, it's a little. It's a lot of XCOM. Um, and I, I still don't care here. Ooh, that's all the supplies. Oh, right, I forgot. So I, I didn't notice this last time. I think I edited it in to say this, but we got our supplies, like, instantly. Um, so yeah, we have almost 7,000 supplies now. That's pretty hype. And we're just gonna keep scanning, because there's really not much else to be doing right now. Uh, don't care. Part of me wants to start taking some other missions, like I said, because I'm worried about the lack of codexes. Oh, there is a codex here. So we are going to get a chance to kill an avatar there. Hassar still infiltrating here. I feel like there's a codex on this mission. Oh, I guess not. And then Victory is off doing Victory things. There is a codex here. So we do have two more chances with codexes. So for the time being, I think we're not going to bother. Um, do we want to just hop straight into... Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, God, 49 enemies. I remember the last 49 enemies we dealt with. Anything scary here? I've been general. That's to be expected. 
there is a codex. That's very nice. I I actually don't see a Lichu. Yeah, there's no Berserker Omega. There's no Gatekeeper Mark II. There's no um, Custodian. There's nothing like that that I'm noticing. So this is just going to be normal enemies. That's very strange. What's the strength in this region? Strength 12. Yeah, you guys should be... You guys have some, like, nasty stats here. So, that's weird. I mean, I'll take it. Lord knows not dealing with, like, half those, half that nonsense is a blessing. But it's very odd that I won't have to deal with it. Ah, oh, whatever, though. Let's ball. Menace 1-5. Infiltrate and investigate the area. All right. Neutralize all hostile contacts. Well, we've done this before. Let's do it again. So we'll move up to here. We'll see the turret. Oh, well, I guess we might not be close enough to see. Oh, wait. Oh, there. Okay, there is the turret. See? We see the turret. Pines might not see the turret, but I see it. And then where's the drones? There's always the drones. It's always two turrets and a, a pack of drones by the front. So let's move you over here, I suppose. Look at them. Okay, there's the there's the drones and then Archon. What are you doing here? You're awfully close. All right. Well, that complicates things a bit, actually. I think you'll be able to see him from here. What kind of pottery is that? A perfect spot for an EMP, actually. If I move here, is this going to reveal me? No, actually, somehow. Very interesting. Alright, let's move you over here. And if possible, chuck the EMP right there. Which, this should do a tremendous amount of damage to all of them. 7 to 8. Oh, wow, that did zero damage to one of them. Oh, there it is. Okay. That's actually pretty weak. Well, it did... EMP... Two of them. Don't reveal... Cohen, you revealed him. Alright, well, Bladestorm will deal with you guys. Assuming Bladestorm decided to work, it didn't because this game hates the fact that we're alive man we can never just catch a break with this game huh oh boy all right let's um have you kill them all perfect eh, he's stunned that's fine Ooh, that's significantly less fine. Crit, though, that's pretty good. Alright, so that guy has a lot of health, actually. We've done almost nothing to him, so I think, Cohen, you're gonna have to deal with that guy. So you've light him up. Honestly, I think we deal a lot of damage. Let's have you deal with this drone first and then turn around and destroy this guy so that should be a kill there's like no way we don't kill him oh and we also got the shutdown perfect even if for some reason we don't kill him he's stunned but we did kill him so it works out uh, do I reveal pines? That is the question. I think I'm okay for now. Uh, we could wrath, but I don't know if that's the move. Let's move you up to here. How much damage does your gun do? A good chunk if you land the hit. Come on. Eh. Oh, okay. We'll have you finish him off. Use relocation to reappear. Right, now you can finish the drone off. And 
And then pines, I guess, move over to here. Okay. Um. Wait, who reconcealed? Oh, that's our sniper. Okay. Uh, for you, I feel like we can just kind of like blast you. Probably should have moved into a position where we could shoot the turret next, but. Uh, you're already revealed, so. Might as well move you up here to deal with the turret. And hopefully you'll reconceal after killing said turret. Alright, perfect. Clean kill. And before we move you anywhere... Wait, did I hear... Okay, I think I heard the second turret. Let's move you up here to high ground. Yeah, I keep hearing a noise, but I think it... Okay, that time that's definitely a turret. Oh, there's two turrets over here. Well, that's annoying. Uh, you do not have a shoot action. Or maybe you will. I don't know. It's always hard to... I think you have one shoot action because light them up and one uh, move action. The problem is if I move you, I think it's going to use our shoot action first. So I'm just not going to move you. Uh, instead, we are going to just kind of group up over here. Uh, yeah, you already used your action, so let's move you up to here. And you can catch up over here. Activating dash core. But yeah, every time I started talking, I felt like the uh, turret would make a noise. And it's, it, it was hard to hear if I was actually hearing the turret, or am I just going crazy? Um... We'll scoot you over here to get some more scouting done. And you just stay where you are. If you could reconceal, that'd be really cool. Did we get spotted? Because there's a specter floating in the air. They're just, they're just cheating. They're just cheating at this point. Like, bro, what what even is that? Like, they're literally just cheating. Okay. Oh, you actually reconcealed. That is very handy. So I kind of want to move pines up, but I don't actually know where their detection range is right now. We could augment our speed and I think move here. This I don't believe the turret will see us here yet. Okay, so that worked. Okay, so now we can see them. Now, I would love to stick them with a claymore, but... Oh, wait, that works. I'll say I don't want to kill the... I don't want to kill the codex. Okay, so I think this is the way to go. Stick them with a claymore. And can we hit it with a grenade somehow? Where is there you are? Um I think we just move up to here. And then can we like slip a grenade like right in here without it hitting the codex? So I would rather not I'd rather not Activate the codex. Quite yet. I do want to just kind of harpoon their brain in just a second. We knocked the Viper down, so it did take a little bit of damage that way. Let's pop a combat protocol, or scan protocol, just so we know where that turret is and where we can... Or so... I'm having a stroke. So we can see where... Hello. Okay, I <laughs> that complicates things greatly. Okay, well, 
There's no way we can go stab the brain without getting spotted. That's for sure. So let's have. Is there like a? Let me. What if we jump down? Okay, that gets spotted. What if we come over to here? I want to get close enough for your close quarter specialist or whatever to proc. It's a little sketch. We can move to here. Okay, yeah, let's do that. It should be close enough, and we shouldn't activate anything doing this. Okay, so let's shoot you. This should give us. Oh my god, be grazed. Let's see, this should give us another ability. Uh, I guess we're gonna chain shot. Hope we don't graze. Oh my god, there's no way. Come on, surely we'll. There's no way we graze three shots in a row. Are you kidding? Oh. Sometimes I hate this game. Okay, um. How do we deal with this? I'd rather not pop your. or end your concealment because then we have to deal with a turret. So, we need to deal damage to these two and also stop the Codex from doing stuff without activating this pod. We could try to quick zap the Codex. I think that's the move here. Let's... Actually, we could also just use it to kill the uh, Spectre for free. How much would a combat protocol do here? So that would also kill. Oh, wow, that would do a lot of damage, actually. Good lord. Okay, yeah, let's, um... What about Chain Lightning? Do we want to use Chain Lightning? I don't think so. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just use a normal Zap and hit the Codex with it. Alright, stunned for zero. Stunned for zero. What do you mean by stunned for zero? Interesting. So, the Codex just doesn't get affected by stuns okay mm, I guess we just shoot him uh, I think we just have to let the codex take a turn which is gonna be really annoying yeah we'll just let the codex take a turn that's super frustrating I don't want to overwatch so if we overwatch we might just kill the Viper, or not Viper. We might kill the Codex and have it spawn multiple other people. Uh, let's try to split up a little bit, I guess. So we can't hit everybody with a bomb. Yeah, we'll move over to here. You already used kill them all, right? Okay, come on. You already used kill them all. Yeah, so this will give him less of an easy target. However, I have a suspicion they're going to be able to hit all three of these guys anyway. I'm gonna move you over here. Do we? Do I want you to pick up? There's two turrets. Um, we're gonna have to deal with these eventually. I think now is probably the time to do it. You know, here's what we do. We take out this turret. If you crit, you should kill it. Perfect. Okay. So yeah, you deal with that turret. And then, oh yes, I know. I know the turret sees me. Uh, then we rapid fire this turret to make sure we kill it. One shot might do the trick. Ooh, very close, but not quite. Okay, so that'll just kill the turret, so we don't have to deal with turrets anymore. Do I get a badge or something? Oh, we could just kill the codex and not bother, but I really want that. Also, why can we not see the codex's detection radius? I really want to harpoon it and get that avatar Nothing there. okay let's hope the other pod doesn't instantly activate but I mean I, they're gonna activate eventually I'd love to stick them with a um, bomb first but I have a sneaking suspicion we're not gonna get the chance yeah I kind of think okay that's inconvenient maybe we'll get lucky and they can all stay somewhere within kill them all range uh we can still hit quite a few of them with it uh, maybe less you know if we go sideways we might be able to make it happen 
What is the codex gonna do? You're gonna disable weapons for sure. Yeah, there it is. And you hit three people with it. Yep, that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. It would just barely touch the toes of our guy up here and it would count. That's so lame. Okay, uh... Can you see anything from here? Yeah, so I guess you hop up to here. Reload and then you can hopefully kill something. We probably want to shoot a grenade before we commit to this though, just so we can get death from above. Uh, you do have kill them all, so that is an option actually, but I don't know how valuable that's going to be right now. Uh, you cannot augment speed, so, um, I don't know, it doesn't really matter where we move you to, I suppose. And then, yeah, we'll just nuke you guys. Something like that. Oh, we should have thrown a sticky first. Yeah, we should have thrown a sticky first. Well, I mean, we can still deal that damage. We just have to... Oh, come on. Okay, perfect. Uh, oh, maybe not perfect, but... Uh... We could come up here. Yeah, we'll move you forward. And then... Yeah, who do we want to stick this to? Probably something like this, I guess. Which is going to prevent us from getting another action, unfortunately. So, you still, you cannot see that. Um, I still want you to come in here and harpoon that brain. But if an avatar shows up, that will be really inconvenient. Um, is this... Okay, this should be out of the side bomb range. Alright, yeah, go, go skull jack the codex. Uh, screw it. Go big. Let's go. Alright, so we are... That should spawn an avatar, right? No? Still doesn't spawn an avatar? Ugh. Okay. Well, we can guarantee a kill on you. Yeah, let's, let's, get, let's get the kill on you first. And we grace so we don't get the kill. Are you joking? Has four grazes in very, very short amount of time. In fact, I think all of the rest of our attacks have been AOE, like grenades and stuff. So literally the last four shots we've taken have been <laughs> grazes. That is really incredible. I think you moving to here and then using kill them all is a big thing. So who all can we hit with this? So I guess we'll do this first. And the, either way, we should hit the one guy with the... Uh, oh, very nice. We should hit the guy with the claymore, so that I should just kill him outright. Uh, I didn't see him ragdoll, so for a second I thought he survived, and I was going to just, like... just My brain was going to melt. Okay, so that'll kill him. In fact, I think that's the rest of them dead there. Okay, so now that you're revealed, um, you can use light them up to deal with these two. Yeah, so let's. Who, who do you have the best chance of killing? You. So if you could kill this guy, one attack, that would be really, really, really convenient. Let's go. That was perfect damage. Okay, and then we'll just rapid fire the last guy, and unless we graze twice, we should be fine. Alright, big damage. And there's the kill. Okay, that was... That was annoying, but we got there. We did get there in the end. Let's overwatch... 
and reload. The problem is we still didn't get an avatar. So I think I'm going to see what happens on the next mission. If we go three codexes without getting an avatar, I think I'm just going to spawn one in. Because, like, at a certain point, like, we, we, we do need to beat the game. Or at least that is the goal. Oh, what? What? God, how many turrets do you... Oh, God, hello. Um, yeah, how many turrets do you guys have? Good Lord. You guys got to chill with that. Um, okay, let's try to see if we can get our concealment to come back. I would very, very much like that to happen. Okay. Um, let's try to move up, but do it slowly. Like I said, I would like to get concealment back before we do anything. This unit is now reloading. Plus, like, half our team is out of ammo. Um, let's not move up to here, because I'm worried this is just going to entirely cave away. Weapon status engaged. Checking mapping mm. protocol for nearby military emplacements that require assistance. Okay, I would like to move you somewhere, though. I'd prefer to move you over here, I think, but you definitely need to conceal first. Yeah, everyone, let's just chill here and see what happens. If we get any concealment back, we go from there. If not, we'll, we'll screw me in particular, I guess. Oh, we're just gonna see him anyway, because he's gonna walk through a building to get to us. Ugh. Well, so much for concealment. Man, we really just can't catch a break. First, the enemies had a floating sect or um, specter just walk into us to reveal us. Then they had a sectopod walk through a wall to come aggro on us. They really want to just keep throwing things at us 24-7. I think our best sectopod killer is probably going to be Cohen. So let's move you over to here. You can. I don't think you have any shred, but we'll go and chuck an axe. Deal some meaty down. Ooh, big crit. Okay, so that's valuable. Then we shoot. Also, yeah. Wait, hold on. So, we're supposed to pierce armor, and I'm like 90% sure I've also seen you shred armor too. But yeah, so it shows the pierce symbol, or shred symbol, I don't even remember which one that is, but either way, it should be doing something to the armor here, but it isn't. Okay, yeah, it's just not doing anything to that armor. I'm going to need a bigger gun. Okay. Um if we can pull Well, yeah, if we can pull you, you will be to avoid that would be the move here. Okay, perfect. So we deal a bit of damage to you. We stunned him. I'll take it. Not quite what I had in mind. Then you move over to here. Pop one shot into the sectopod. Reveal or get revealed. Warning. Threat level is high. Kill this guy. Perfect. You have and then do you have rapid fire? You do not. Alright, if you can deal 5 damage, that would be beautiful. Perfect, okay. okay so that's that dealt with. He's probably one of those scarier things. And we still have you, so you could A, whiplash this guy. Or B, chain shot that guy. I think whiplash is the move 
technically the other way would deal more damage i think as a max but this pierces armor all right so that deals some heavy damage there let's do this let's um let's walk over to here Ugh. Well, hopefully we can miss. We got one of them. Also, I definitely saw an enemy over there. So, and we're out of ammo. So we're not killing that. So, hey, at least that gives you something to do. You can come kill the drones. But first, let's, um, let's pop a scan. Because I saw enemies over to the side and I don't want to aggro them. Is that another turret? And that's another pod? Oh my god, how many turrets do you guys have? Good lord. What even are you? Oh, never mind. I, You're a mech and a codex. We, we can... No, I would say we could try stabbing that codex, but I don't think we can actually. Because, uh, yeah, our, we had one use of the Skulljack. How do you not see this guy? Okay, let's, uh, let's open the door. And then we can combat protocol him. So yeah, we do this. This will get the kill on that guy at least. We almost saw it happen too for once. So that deals with that. You actually have a target to shoot at now. And we graze. We're gonna rapid fire just because I don't trust not to graze a second time. However, we could just miss. That is always an option too. But um, all right. So if you come over here, one you get revealed. Two, you might aggro that pod. Uh, is there a space you can move to inside this building? I can see that guy. Right here, I think, is the way to go. I, I fully expected to get revealed there. Alright, um, yeah, you should be able to kill him with your remaining shots. Don't make me lightning hands. Oh, wait, you have... What is it? You have the ability to guarantee a hit. Except you don't. Okay, well, your next shot should kill him, so we'll just do that. Okay, there we go. And hopefully you'll reconceal. That'd be really, 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 really handy. And hopefully both of these paws don't immediately just walk into us. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured they would walk into us. Let's hope the other pod, please, doesn't just immediately walk into us. Can we have a little bit of breathing room? Please and thank you. Okay. Oh, and reconcealed. Um, I don't know where this other pod went to. I think they're still right there. So I'd definitely like to get inside and not have to deal with all that. Uh, chain lightning. I don't know if that would do anything here. Um... You could come over here and deal with that guy, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. You can deal with the Androm or the Andromedon, the uh, Archon. So let's open the door. What if you could probably kill the Archon with a light em up? So can we have Pines mark this target? And with you, shoot. Ooh, we probably should have rapid targeted the other guy, but whatever. Wait, why did we do that? I think I meant to rapid target this guy, but my brain didn't do brain related activities. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, um, that's fine. We'll manage. Okay, yeah, let's just. Rapid fire and pray for the hits. I mean, 77 is still a really good percent, but um, 
We will not get that. We will miss both times because... Because... Because statistics are a joke. And they're not real. Mm, okay. So... You need to reload, which means you probably can't do much of anything. I mean, I guess we could just, like... Grapple up there. Give me a minute. Okay, yeah, let's just grapple up here, I guess. It's not quite the outcome I was going for. Uh, at least this would give us cover. So let's let's jump up to here. Wait, will that reveal us? That won't reveal us. Okay, let's jump to here then. Who needs cover? Okay, so that gets us spotted. Which gives us time to shoot. So, let's shoot you. Yeah, let's shoot you. Get the kill. And then we rapid fire you. Ooh, kill in the first shot. Okay, so now how, who do we have remaining? Sniper. Okay, we still have four people, so we should be able to kill two targets. Should be able to. Will we kill the two targets is a whole different question. One that I'm way less confident in. Now let's move you down here, and you're just going to shoot through the window. Wow, you are... Ridiculously hard to hit for a guy who's like the size of a vending machine okay yeah, let's uh let's pop you yeah yeah that makes sense okay can we do anything at all here? That is the question. Will we hit literally a single target? Guess we can try to zap the sectoid because we probably aren't going to kill both of these guys this turn. Okay, well, at least you have a guaranteed hit. Yeah, it was lightning hands. I assume we're going to... Well, we. I was going to say miss the second shot, but we grazed. Which is basically the same thing. Let's just, uh, we'll reload. And we're just gonna face off. Surely he won't survive three shots to the face. Except he survived three shots to the face. And we also didn't even shoot three times. Okay. Um... What do we even do? We could go here then... There's no way we don't activate the turret, huh? We could... Um, here, let's, uh... What do we do? What do we do about this? Let's wrath to you. I have reached the door. Okay, that gets the kill. And now you might be able to kill him. He grazed. Okay. And that should give us another action. Yeah, close encounters. Um, we could. Hail of bullets is guaranteed to hit, and it does. It should do enough damage. Perfect. Okay, that gets the kill. Let's bring you inside, so you hopefully don't get revealed. I'll say, watch as moving you inside reveals you somehow. Oh my lord! All right. Ooh, we're making progress. It's killing me a little on the inside, but we're making progress. All right, can we have a single turn? To just chill. 
That sounds like a berserker. I assume the answer is no. Of course the answer is no. <laughs> I don't even know who you aggroed on, I'll be honest. Who did you aggro on? Did you see us through a wall? Or no, I guess you saw the guy up on top. Who did you even see? You saw Cohen. Okay. Well, I think this would be a good time for kill them all. Which I think reaches all of these guys. I, it's hard to tell because for some reason, the, the enemy saw us from over here, but we can't actually see over there. So I don't really know what that is about. But let's move you forward to here. You know, you might be able to also use kill them all here. I might be pretty valuable. Yeah, I think this is... Can we double up on kill them all? Not quite. I mean, not in a way I want to, at least. Um, what can, what can you see, Cohen? You can see a lot of them. Yeah, let's do that. And when you say friendly fire, you don't mean like you're gonna shoot the explosive and blow it up, right? <laughs> But I know it says this anytime you target or have friends in the kill mall range. That killed those two mutons. That's good. Um, if we could get a kill on someone else, that'd be also really good. No kill, but that's a lot of damage. And I think we killed the one in the very back. All right. Perhaps I should write a book on tactical engagements. Um. So that gives you implacable, but that's not going to help us here. Kill them all. Really won't. Do the trick. You are very hard to hit. Okay, what if we... So you're guaranteed to kill him. So let's take a shot at you first. Oh, I was really hoping for more damage. Okay. And we will just rapid fire, just because. We have gotten too many grazes. But we got a crit, so it works. Okay, so these... They're not that healthy. We should be able to deal with the remaining guys. Let's move you up to here. Now, your chance to hit. Okay, well... Uh, do you have... No, we already used that. Uh, ooh, okay, let's see. There's our sniper. Our sniper is on the low ground now. Can you... Move into a position... Right here. We should be able to see both targets without even having to... Worry. So yeah, let's... Break concealment. Ooh. We'll have you clean up here in a sec. Because I think we're only going to get two shots with you. Uh, I guess we go for the lucky shot here. Hope and pray. Chain shot even? No, chain shot's not the move. Because if we miss, then it's just lower chance than we have. Oh, we actually got the kill. Okay, perfect. So in that case, we can clean up easy. So you hit him. I say there is a not zero chance you actually get a kill. And come on, don't miss, please. Thank you. It's a graze, but it's a hit. He had one health and we just needed a hit. Alright. Reload. You can't reload. Can we take one turn? A single turn, just to chill for even a millisecond, just just a few seconds. I would love to reload my team and get everyone back into concealment. If you would be so kind as to not instantly throw another pot at us. Okay, and Cohen didn't conceal. Of course he didn't conceal. Why would he conceal? Uh fine it's fine it's fine 
Okay, so I think we know where everyone left is, because there's a pot over here somewhere, and then there's the wherever the last pot is. That sounds about right. So let's just reload everyone. Weapon status engaged. Okay, you're already full, you're already full. Alright. We're finally all back to full ammo. Can we run out here and grab this real fast? No. Not without getting spotted. I would like that loot. Alright, Cohen. Um You can see the turret from here. I don't mind killing that turret real fast. So yeah, we shouldn't have any issue killing this turret. Also, I'm like 90% sure I saw something in the background, but I could be mistaken. Alright, first shot. Very nice. Uh, how many of you have and then let's pull you back inside. Physical exertion outpoint. How did that turret see us? How did that turret see us? I guess it saw us like right on this tile. Alright, whatever. I we care. I don't think we care. We'll deal with it next turn. Oh, okay. We finally had a turn to recuperate a little bit. And Cohen decided to conceal this time. We do love to see that very much. Oh my god, how many turrets do you- There has been what, like one, two, three? I think there's a fourth one here. Uh, there's a fifth one over here. It's been like five turrets. What? What's going on with this? Interesting. Okay, um... I think I'm just gonna throw a claymore at you. Ooh, but we do want that codex, so probably not. Not yet, at least. Let's move you into cover. Oh, I thought you were gonna get revealed for a second, and I was about to just like have a hernia. We're gonna move you up. I don't even know where to move you to. Like, I feel like no matter where we move you, it's 90% of this fight has been around this, or 90% of this mission is around this one single building. And it's all, like, right in this, like, alleyway. So I don't, I don't know where to put you where you're going to be able to get high ground advantage. So I'm just not going to. And we're just going to stack up here. I'm not going to care about. Oh, yeah, we do want to go deal with that turret, probably. Um... Except I don't know if I care. And the answer is I don't. Not right now. We're not going to be outside anyway. We don't need to go fight it. Okay. How do we open up on this pod without just instantly killing the codex? Right, can you, like, open this door so we can get outside? All right, there we go. Um, however, you might be able to make it up on top here and do something. Mm, not quite. All right, you just come outside. Let's move you over to here. And then stick a grenade out the window. Oh, the guy disappeared. Okay, um... No, screw it. This isn't going to kill the Codex anyway. Oh, well, yeah, we can't even Skulljack the Codex anyway. It doesn't matter. Oh, we should have stuck him with a Claymore again. My brain is just... It's too melted. My brain no work. I am full of salt and vinegar. Uh, can you one-shot the Codex? Maybe. However, let's just uh, use kill them all here. 
Let's at least give you two shots. Big damage on him. Big damage on the Codex. No. Good luck out there. Ugh. Alright, whatever. That's not that bad. However, the how vision works in this game is just progressively deteriorating. Um, okay, the turret can see us regardless, so I guess we're just gonna come up. Yeah, we're gonna come up here. And we're no longer behind cover, but whatever. We can uh, shoot you. Get death from above. Have a nice day. And then shoot you and maybe kill if we're really, really lucky. I didn't think so. Warning. But that we could dream. High. Okay. Um. What if we... Blade storm up to here. They spotted my enormous brain. Well, not blade storm. Um, Genjutsu. Get a kill on the turret. That's actually huge. He's dead, and, and there's another turret I forgot about. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Because we can just kill you. And then rapid fire the turret. And we'll still kill it. Alright. Turret's do down. Uh, we do need to kill this guy here in a moment. So you... I don't know, man. I guess you can just come stab the codex. That'll do. I hope this used... Okay, we have four targets and two people to do it because the game will not cut us a break. Okay, Pines can kill two of them. Do you have... Okay, this is what I think we do. Um... Yeah, here's what we do. We come out here. We quick zap. We zap you, which should kill you, because we know for a fact it does damage. Let's say, if nothing else, it does damage. And then we combat protocol you, and that guarantees a kill on that. Codex is dead. And then you don't even have to move, so you can just shoot him. Perfect. And then kill the Codex. Alright. We got there in the end. And then we'll reload, and hopefully everyone reconceals. That'd be beautiful. At least one concealment, please. Exactly one concealment. All right. I don't know why you didn't conceal. And where is Cohen? I don't know why you didn't conceal. Maybe you just need to be indoors. Maybe outside is too scary. I don't know anymore. I, I can't think of any logical reason for why this game does anything anymore. All right. So we know where the final enemies are. And you bet we're going to be chucking claymores at them for the next 10 minutes. So there's no way on God's green earth I'm fighting them normally. Not after... There's no way we get spotted. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'd say if turret number 17 spots us, whatever, we'll deal with it. But if another... Or if these guys down here spotted us... Like, I, I I, just would have died on the spot. Like, not in-game. I just... My heart would have given out. 
Okay, let's shoot the turret. And then you guessed it. We will shoot the turret again. Threat analysis green. No hostiles detected. Okay, how do you how do you want to bet that the enemies are gonna spot us? It feels good to move around. Because I think we all know it's gonna happen. It's just a matter of how are they gonna spot us. Are they gonna just instantly jump up to the second floor and know we're here because of it? At maximum sensitivity. Are they just gonna see us through a wall? They're not gonna see us. That's actually hidden option three or C. Well, that's impressive. Okay. Um. Can we get a scan protocol going? So I would love to see where they all are. Okay, I think some of them are in the building. No, never mind. The bulk of them are all over here, actually, so another claymore is not a bad idea. However, that would prevent us from doing anything else this turn. But I'd rather just nuke 90% of this pod. And then, oh wait, no, I forgot you haven't gone yet. Or you, you used one claymore last turn, so we're actually set. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just nuke this entire pod. This should kill, like, this should leave like two or three, uh, yeah, two enemies left, I bet. Ooh, not even, that leaves one. You are on your own, buddy. I have a feeling. Do you have light up or lightning hands? You do. I feel like Pines should be able to deal with you by herself. Yeah, that's one hit. Then you lightning hands. And then we fan fire if we even need to. Turns out we do. Are we gonna fan fire a guy with one health? Yeah, you you know I'm going to. 43 damage? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh boy. A part of me died this mission. There's a part of me. I I came into this mission whole and I'm leaving with part of me left behind. The soldier that joined us from the resistance is certainly a quick study. All right. Some of our other we have we have a lot of bodies. We could probably sell like an actual ton black market and be like set for life. Okay, so let's take a peek in here. So we do have another mission available. This is the black site mission. <laughs> we we actually have a mission in a in a region we've already liberated actually that's kind of funny. But actually while we're at it might as well do the old set it all to intel or supply. All right. Um, do we want to do another mission this episode? Problem is, there's a lot of enemies on this one, isn't there? Yeah. You know, here's here's what we'll do. Instead of doing this mission yet, I'll do the uh, extract VIP mission. Yeah, I'll do this one. In fact, we're even gonna boost it because I just <laughs> yeah, I don't want to deal with nonsense. Um, but we will do this. And then, also, is there still a codex? No, there's still not a codex. Whatever. Yeah, we'll we'll do this mission and then we'll call it. Let's do it. Advent already knows we're here, so your All position right. is concealed for the extraction. Let's make this one a short one. My soul has left my body a little bit after the previous mission, so making this one pretty quick would be preferable uh, let's put you up on the rooftop now we do want to be careful where we put you on the rooftop but I think we can 
sneak our way over here without getting spotted. I'm on my way. Assuming no shenanigans happen. Ooh, there's a high possibility of shenanigans over there. Okay, so it looks like almost the entire map is over here to the right. So if we just all go left, I think we might be able to just avoid a good amount of these enemies. That would be kind of fun. Just slip by all of them. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll just keep moving on over this direction. Dashboard activated. And, yeah, we'll go from here. And, I don't know, man, you just, like... No, do not, do not fire your pistol, please, and thank you. Okay, so they're going away from us. Which is really good, actually. Because <laughs> that means we can kind of just... Wait, I just remembered in the intro, Brad was like, Oh, leave no enemy standing. Like, nah, bro. Sorry, Chief. If I can, if I can kill zero enemies and get out of here, I 100% will. Right, we're already starting off on a strong start. I still don't know why you're using your pistol instead of your minigun. However, two of them are in a position we should be able to... Three of them are in a position we should be able to punish really easily. Um, those guys are moving closer, which is less than ideal. Especially since our sniper really can't do anything without getting spotted immediately. Well, if nothing else, we should be able to deal with this pod rather easily, I think. So, let's just... you kill them all? No. So let's, um, do we want to use a grenade? I don't think that's the move here. Problem is dealing with this guy easily is not going to be easy. However, you might be able to kill him. Uh, you do not have light him up though. You banish. You could just banish that guy. Should have banished. Where is banished? Are you not a reaper? You're not a reaper. That's why you don't have banish. Okay, well, there's still a chance we can get the kill here. Uh, this is what I think we do. We go ahead and throw a claymore, and apparently this tiny little dividing wall is gonna stop. They claim more from hitting both guys, but whatever. We'll we'll do this. And you fire a grenade right here, which will hopefully blow up the wall first, and then d detonate the other bomb. I think it actually did. I right, said so I killed almost all of those guys. Um, so then I guess take a shot at that. Nice. Because we don't really need you to shoot a second grenade just for that one guy. Uh, you also do not have light him up. So, let's have you kill this guy. Perfect. Um, would like to... I'd like to mingle in your government vehicle. No, I'd like to uh, send this guy forward, but we want to scout the way first. Also, let's just combat protocol. Oh, wait, hold on. There's still... No, never mind. Yeah, let's just combat protocol you. Let's take the easy route. I have zero interest in dealing with your nonsense. All right, that went pretty well, I think, for our first encounter. Let's sneak forward to here. Okay, so we know they're there. Ooh, there's no way we can slip up there without getting spotted, however. Uh... 
I guess we'll move you to like here. Also, for the record, I used uh, his his normal Overwatch activated, so he should use not his pistol. Uh, do we want to take you off high ground? That might be worth it. Nah, I think for now we'll just leave you here. Field, Commander. And then you move up to here. Affirmative. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to deal with these guys. That's really unfortunate. Hey, but you did use your main gun. Well, hopefully you'll fire your main gun at the Andromedon. You are immediately on fire, so get pranked, idiot. Surely they both don't have lightning reflexes. Perfect, there's a kill. Can we get a shot on the Andromedon as well? That'd be really cool. No, no shot on the Andromedon. Ugh, and they're coming back to fight us. Okay, that's fine. That's four enemies. We can deal with four enemies. I mean, technically it's five enemies, but... It's like the Andromedon becomes five, but, or, but you know what I mean. Um, alright, so, let's just come over to here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, the game crashed again. Oh. Alright. After... And a reload, we're back where we left off, and I was... Oh good, you're broken. Alright, well you're not where you're supposed to be. Um, and you're not where you're supposed to be. Alright, is the Viper... The Viper is where the Viper's supposed to be, and you're where you're supposed to be. Okay, well two enemies have decided to do whatever it is that they've decided to do here um okay how oh i was gonna say how on earth are we not detected it's because the guy's not there okay um actually wait isn't this the guy who has close quarter specialists he does. Okay, so we don't even want to go in on a melee. Actually, no, we can't. We literally just do what we did last time. Except, because teleporting... Yeah, we just teleport over there. It's fine. I'd say we don't want to go in on melee range, but no, we, we, it doesn't it, it doesn't matter, because we can teleport. We can bypass your nonsense with our nonsense. So we shotgun you in the noggin. Get the kill here. Continue with our plan as we... Alright, as we originally had planned. And now we... Go in for the melee over here. Perfect. Alright, so I got those two. Uh, that means you're probably fine to just move over here I suppose okay so that leaves the two people who are actually where they're supposed to be and since there's very few enemies what if we just nuke them from orbit unfortunately we do not have all that many grenades oh we could full auto Ooh, but we're probably not gonna actually hit that uh, we could chain shot also still not likely to hit that though um one of you have yeah there you go we could just wait how can you you can't see the viper unfortunate all right um ugh. what do we want to do this is a, a deceptive amount of health i think we just All right, let's have you pop out of concealment, shoot him, and then not be able to kill the viper. That's annoying. Let me just like punch you. 
Ah, uh, that's uh, that's iffy. Right, this is what we do. We just kind of like we'll break concealment, shoot you, and then we can't rapid fire. Not enough actions. You're a liar and a cheat. Wait, why would I need two actions to rapid fire? That doesn't make sense. Okay, whatever. Alright. You know what we do? You know what we're gonna do? Where's our bunker buster? Why don't you have your bunker buster? You should have your special rocket. I don't know where it is. But yeah, we're just gonna do this. You can't hide behind cover if there isn't any cover. Yeah, there we go. And then, um, who knows? Maybe this will blow up your cover? Let's find out. No, but it'll blow them up, so that works. Oh, for a second I thought. Never mind. I was say, for a second I thought you weren't who I thought you were. And that would have been very frustrating to have you also teleporting around. Uh, you can probably kill him. So yeah, let's just pop his stupid little dome. And that leaves us with what should be a very easy target. Uh, go ahead and pop him again. This viper is just kind of in the floor. And then... Yeah, we just blast him. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy. Yeah, it turns out it's really easy to deal with them when you just attack with reckless abandon. I do want this loot though. Yeah, like, who cares if we need these, or who cares if I'm using up our supplies by like, or uh, resources by throwing out like grenades here and there. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna yeet them all out. I, we cannot be stopped. I, but and if another pot aggro's on us. Like they're about to do anyway. I don't know how on earth you see us from over there. Because again, you're in the fog of war. So you can't even... I can't even see over there. But you just have a sixth sense, I guess. But I also have a sixth sense. The sixth sense that tells me to shoot a lot of grenades at you. Yeah, bro. I can't even, I can't even see you over there. And yet you aggroed on me. That's uh, fascinating. Well, on the plus side, you can get out of here now. You didn't conceal. Alright, any chance we can shoot another rocket over there? Probably. Uh, let's get you... I don't know, you might be able to get a grenade in here if we do this. This isn't quite where I wanted it to be, but whatever, this will do. We didn't even kill the drone. And now that's what we love to see. Alright, can you get a grenade in here? No, you also have to move. However, you can get a grenade probably a lot closer. Man, that is the sturdiest wall I think I've ever seen in my life. This is fire like, that thing... Secure. Bro, I would... I would pay whoever made that wall to make me a nuclear bunker. Because, like, that thing is not going anywhere. Let's just rapid fire this guy. I, w I want him dead. I want to make sure he's dead. And the other guy's like across the map, so I don't even know if he's close enough to attack us. But Lord knows he will find a way to get up here and stun somebody. I'm gonna move you way across the map to come just eat that damage. We've got advent here. Of course. 
Of course, the last two enemies are right there. Well, with any luck, they won't just immediately kill somebody somehow. But that remains to be seen. Okay, we can't even see them, so I guess we're just gonna walk over here and overwatch. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna come over here and overwatch a bunch and pray that it actually does something. Setting overwatch. Insufficient damage on target. Oh, you're not even a stun lancer. But you are gonna hit me from over there. Alright, how what are what are the rest of the people gonna do? Unfortunately not a kill. Okay, so you're not going to do anything of value. Okay, so we did take a hit, but whatever. We should be able to heal that off. Okay, yeah, we have a heal. So, uh, we do have to be a little careful because your building's probably going to collapse very soon. Let's rapid target this guy. I don't like the fact that he's breathing. I would very much like to remedy that problem. And I would like to do that right now. Let's uh let's let's put two rounds. Wow. His Overwatch procs first, that's interesting. Ooh, okay. One right in the noggin. Perfect. And then we give you a little present. Perfect. Again. That's some serious damage actually. Um, can we do rescue protocol on you? So we can reposition you in a way that hopefully is not going okay. to involve being on the third floor of a building that's on fire. And then you just Why honestly you walk straight up to this man and shoot him. There's literally nothing. Ooh, wait. Wait, he's gonna shoot us back. I I know how this works. I remember. All right, let's bait out his first shot then. Uh, where is our gunner? There you are. Um, let's move. Uh, well, we did kind of just destroy all the cover on the map, huh? Let's move to like right here. And then we're just gonna chain shot you. So there's no way you're gonna survive a chain shot. And you shouldn't get a chance to react. Unless you get to shoot first. Okay, whatever. Throw T pose for a second, and then realized it was over. Okay, so that's good to know that your chain shot gets to go before or uh your your return fire. Yeah, it, it their overwatch is just better than our overwatch huh i mean technically it's different it's return fire or whatever and not Ooh, the other thing but like yeah no <laughs> that doesn't mean i can't be salty about it all right let's get out of here this episode's i'm 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 done with this episode okay no enemies though we don't have to deal with that anymore everyone is there very, very dead. Um, you don't have enough mobility to get over here, so let's just move you I here. Any day now. Let's get you up here. Core activated. You to here, and then you can start moving your way over here. Adjusting predator cannon for range. Let's see, if there's like two civilians over here, I might just hit him with a grenade j just for the giggles. But they're not quite close enough. We can try though. We haven't we haven't had casualties of war uh, for no apparent reason in a little while. So here here's here's your quality content. Alright. Remember, no Russian. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. I'm glad to see 
our new recruits aren't hesitating when it comes to taking Ooh, out the aliens. Promotions. It's been a minute since we've had a promotion. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's do bring them on. Untouchable, and then Whiplash. For you, kill them all. Sniper Elite, because we found out that's really, really good, actually. And I think we've already established light them up doesn't work. We are going to grab Conceal, because we're just having problems. You know, we're going to grab all these things, just because we've had problems with uh, the Concealment actually concealing. So getting Conceal would be nice. Um, and let's take a peek. This should reveal the tower mission. Why didn't that reveal the tower mission? Am I crazy? Hold on. Commander, go to the, the commander's quarter. I will beat you to death, Tygen. Do not attempt me. Please consider providing us. Um, yeah, we should. Oh, no. Yeah, we should have, uh, we already have two. So that should reveal the final mission here. Very strange. Um, well, I think what we're going to do is we'll definitely end the episode here, but next episode will be episode 99. We will take on this. We'll speed run the tower mission and then do the HQ. And that should put us in a position where the following episode will be the final mission, the one that's supposed to be very, very difficult. And depending on how that works, if it just, if that just gives you the win game thing, then we'll, we'll call it and just we'll win the game there. And that'll probably be that. I might do like an epilogue episode and just like go in and do the final mission for posterity's sake with like our strongest characters, um, just to see how easily we can breeze through the final mission. But we'll do this mission next, do the tower, do the HQ, do the final mission in episode 100, and then maybe do the final, final mission. Like the, the actual game's final mission in that same episode, depending on how long it takes. And or we might just do that in a, uh, episode 101, like an epilogue. But I think we're still on pace to uh, wrap this series up on episode 100 so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you for the not the season finale but the the the, the pre-season finale so i'll see you in the next one